I can't even remember when the last time I sat down and filmed a makeup video was, but I really, really, really wanted to sit down today and film one. So that is what I'm doing. So if you want to see what products I use on my face day in, day out, my favourite products, then please do keep on watching. But quickly, before you do just jump into the video, make sure you're subscribed to my channel if you haven't already. Follow all of my socials. They're all linked in the description box, but literally everything is just Sorrel WJ across all of my socials. On that note, here it is. I really hope you guys enjoy. So I accidentally just deleted a clip that I didn't mean to, but I start my makeup routine off with soap brows so I found that the pears soap is the best for doing soap brow I think it was like two pound fifty maybe something like that but yeah it is just the best for doing soap brow I've been rushing around and my face is like really red and hot also I've broken out so much on this side of my skin and I had two more come up yesterday and they've gone down so much overnight and I use this thing from super Drug, which is so so good so that is what it kind of looks like now this is why I always do this first because obviously I don't want the soap taking off my makeup i've seen quite a few people shaving the end of their eyebrow off and i uh, really like i would really like to do it but i don't wear makeup all the time and like the thought of having to do my brows all the time my eyebrows are a bit sparse anyway i feel like if i shave it off it just won't grow back and now that they're like dried into place i just get it and just bring them down a little bit so they're not like, too sticky up in the air I like to fill my brows in when I soap brow them with this eyebrow stylist set. It's just like a brow powder, it's from Essence, oh my god it's like, I get it from Wilco's, well I think I got this one in like Berlin or Spain or something like that, but you can get it in Wilco's and it's like £2 something. I prefer this way much more than using a pencil because I also tinted my brows, oh when did I tint them? Not that long ago, so they still have a bit of colour in there, so literally just a bit of powder is perfect can we just appreciate that i'm using natural lighting i literally have no softbox lights or anything in my room i prefer using natural lighting so 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 much more but obviously it's so hard in winter especially january especially in england because we get so many gray days but day is such a beautiful sunday it's so gorgeous outside so the foundation i've been using recently is the primark one this is a five pound one it's the double coverage matte foundation which is meant to be like the dupe of the Estee Lauder one it's obviously nowhere near as full coverage as the Estee Lauder one the Estee Lauder one is like my holy friggin grail I also have the other one which is like £2.51 I definitely prefer this one compared to this one this one's a bit of a lighter coverage so it's a bit nicer for summer if that is something that you do want whereas this is a bit more full coverage so this is in the shade new beige and this is in the shade cool sand recently I've been enjoying using a brush compared to a sponge for my foundation so this is a sigma kabuki brush primark actually do a really really good dupe of this it's the same as in like it's got the contoured bit so you can really get in there but yeah this is what i've just been preferring to use over a sponge anyway how is everyone i have not just sat down apart from like my 2020 video but like i just haven't had like a proper catch up with you guys in so long and i haven't filmed a makeup video in so long i filmed a few makeup routines last year like i did that really colorful look one i was actually watching that over this morning which is what made me really just want to get back into doing some more makeup tutorials because it's like the only time i really get to sit down and talk to you guys because i do do like a lot of fashion videos and like thrift oh no thrift with me videos now and stuff which i obviously love i literally love the revolution conceal and define apart from my shape to start shape tape for like when i'm going out out this is the only concealer i ever use and sometimes the collection one but this is my favorite so when i'm not fake tan like now i need to fake tan i feel so pale but like i only really fake tan if i have something to do it for now whereas i used to fake tan all the time and i kind of want to get back into fake tanning all the time because it just makes me feel so much nicer so the shade i'd use when i'm not fake tanned is c3 it's just my favorite with the powder nothing has changed this year i am still using my good old trusty rcma powder which is my favorite and i just take my sponge and just press this in like that so I've also recently really got into nose contouring. I love to use just like a foundation stick. I just dab it on the end like that. And then I'm just going to take it down the bridge of my nose. So I do that first and then I go in with a tiny little bit of concealer down the bridge of my nose. Just because it blends all of that in together. But when I say a tiny bit, like I really do mean a small bit, like not a lot at all. So it's literally Sunday today, the day I'm uploading this video, 
and I've already finished sex education. I feel like it's something that is just so easy to just sit and binge. I said to myself as well, I'm not gonna sit and binge this because I want it to last. And I was gonna make it last until Sabrina came out on like, I think the 27th. But quite clearly that has not happened because I literally sat and binged it this weekend and I'm literally done with it. There was only eight episodes, like it's so short. So again, my face powder has not changed. This is a removal stain matte powder. I have used this like, since I started doing makeup. I literally love sex education so much and this season was just so good. It's just so easy to just sit and watch and that is like what I love. Like that is a good show that you can just sit and just binge and watch. It's like Sabrina as well. I could just sit and binge those two shows. For my bronzer, I've been using the Revolution Mega Bronzer. This is in the shade 02 Warm. I really, really like this. I think it's about four pounds. It's really big. It's like the size of my palm. They do have a lighter shade as well. Oh God, which I actually have in my kit, which is more of like a cooler shade, whereas this is more of a warmer shade, but it's really, really pigmented. So when I'm not fake tanned, I really do just have to go over like a really, really light hand with this. What has everybody got planned for the next few weeks? I'm what have I got planned? So I'm going to see Dolly Parton 9 to 5 on the 28th, which I'm so excited for because I literally love going to the theatre so, so much. And I've wanted to see Dolly Parton 9 to 5 since it basically came out in the theatre. And on the 28th, I also start my enterprise programme with the Prince's Trust. But it's the last four days, so Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'll be doing that. And my blusher is completely battered and old, but I literally use this day in, day out. This is Milani Luminoso. It's literally the most stunning shade. Okay. But yeah, it's so, so stunning. I'm hoping to get to the charity shop to speak. I might even go tomorrow. I'm thinking I'm gonna go tomorrow. So expect to thrift me because all of like, I'm thinking all of the, like the stock from like people's clear outs are gonna be out by now. My dad said the ones in the high road have like had like loads and loads of new stock. So I'll probably pop up to those three first. Probably won't find anything in them because they're not very good and then i think i'm gonna go to the places where i went to in my last thrift with me which is upminster and hornchurch just gonna like do my lips so this is a w7 jelly lip scrub it's similar to the lush ones I always have like a really really nice stick from kiko which i absolutely love and it's really good it smells and tastes really good i'll link that kiko thing with the rest of the products in the description box below so for highlighter i have so many favorites highlighting is just like i love highlighting but i've been loving this so this is the beauty bay living my best light jed got me this for christmas so they're 12 pounds which is really really good for a quad of highlighters anyway but there was half price six pounds and you get four absolutely lovely shades in there so this quad here is called delicate they have a few they have like sunbeam and another one i think i just mix in this shade and this shade with my little brush and it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous I sat down just thinking earlier like what do i want to like what kind of videos do i want to film on my Oh, God, my hair stuck to me. I really just want to do like some different videos, like stuff that I haven't really done before. I really want to get back into makeup videos, like I just said. I just really want to film like what I want to film, videos that I love and enjoy filming. Like my makeup videos never really used to do that well. They didn't perform that well, so I just like cut them loose. But I love filming makeup videos. I'm, I love makeup and I really want to get back into filming my makeup videos. So I'm just going to add like a bit of depth to my eyes, just with my bronzer and a big fluffy brush. This is a Morphe M405. I actually cut the front of my hair, like the two front bits a little bit shorter because I wanted to like have them out when I did like low buns and like low ponies, which is what I tried to do today, but they're still too long. I didn't want to do them too short in case I messed up and I just really don't trust myself in that short. So they are still a bit too long. So I'm gonna have to, I need to get my hair cut anyway. So I need to find a hairdresser because mine actually shut down. For my mascara, I, depending on like I said where I'm going again if I'm just like popping to the shops or something like that then I won't do it but if I'm going like day out then I will use waterproof mascara because it holds a curl so much Maybelline Last Sensational is the best waterproof mascara I bought one from Primark and like it's not even waterproof it holds a curl a little bit better than um, a normal mascara but I had high hopes for it and it just let me down it was only £2.50 so like I wasn't expecting too much but like knowing how good Primark's makeup is I actually had high hopes for it and it just it didn't live up to those time to move on to lips oh my god guys I literally have a new favourite and it's Morphe Lip Liner in Honeymoon these are so so affordable I didn't realise that they were only £4.50 I also really love the Rimmel ones and Kiko ones as well they're also really really cheap I think they're like 
three pound something i definitely prefer the shade range of morphe though yeah this is in the shade honeymoon i will literally never be going back to buying mac lip liners ever again because morphe is my new favorite also earlier when i was talking about sex education i forgot to tell you about a series i recently watched on netflix some of you might have already seen it already but i literally am obsessed with it i loved it so much spinning out on netflix is so good i swear to god i just fall in love with every single character in every like series of film ever but i fell in love with justin if you have no idea what i'm talking about basically it's a series about um these girls that do figure skating and the boy that do figure skating and like mental health fingers crossed they've set it up to like a season two because there's so much stuff like we didn't find out and like i need to know i reckon they left it like that because then if they do want to do a season two they can but like depending on ratings i think that's what they've done so my favorite lipstick i actually went into kiko to buy and they didn't have it and she was like oh yeah i think we stopped doing it because we only start from 302 now so this is 301 they're so so cheap as well like four pound i think in the sale maybe i didn't have 19 in the lip gloss either because i wanted to get it for my kit so i was like okay, i'm gonna look online and they had it online so i've ordered five because <laughs> I love it so much. Another season I watched like just before the end of last year was Raising Dion. So good. Another one that if you haven't watched it, you need to watch. Add them all to your list. And they're not that long either because it is only like one season of them. There's another season of um, Raising Dion coming, which I'm so excited about. Oh, I also watched a film called Level 16 or Level 17. Was it on Netflix or Amazon Prime? Pretty sure it was Netflix. My favourite lip glosses ever, ever, ever are the Kiko ones. I also really like the Primark ones. I think they're like such a dry throat from talking so much i think they're like one pound fifty so this is number four this is 19 which is like absolutely disgusting like eyelash glue all over it 19 is this shade here I'm sorry yeah this is 18 so this is number four so this is a step that i always do whether i'm like wearing foundation or not it's like the one i forget the most so i actually love to draw a few freckles on so this is literally just a brown eyeliner that i use and i just tap it on i do actually naturally have freckles they just obviously aren't so prominent in the winter so this is my everyday makeup routine if i'm popping out for the day apart from the waterproof mascara my base stays exactly the same it's only like my highlighter lip gloss lipstick and lip liner that i'll like swap out and switch around i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and turn on my bell notification that way you don't miss any more of my future uploads and i'll see you in my next video bye